Hello friends, welcome back and welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Lissa and this is a recap of all my costuming adventures in 2020. What did 2020 do for me? All right guys, so today I am going to go through my Instagram and look at some notes that I've taken in preparation of this video. And I'm going to go through all of the things that I did in 2020 in terms of costuming and things like that. Uh, this was a weird year for costuming. Um, this is going to be my sixth year of cosplay and it was definitely something else. First, before we do anything else, I am going to scroll through my Instagram here and I'm going to see what I said on January 1st of this year because every year I always, um, I don't know, say something about what I want to do this year or whatever. So let's go back and let's see what young naive me thought 2020 was going to be like. Here we are. Okay, January 1st, 2020. I said, what am I doing in 2020? Swipe to find out. Tell me what your plans or goals are for this year. And then I had a photograph with, I had a photograph with Miss Anna. And then I had just a little, uh, what do you call it? Just a little collage of different costumes that I wanted to do in 2020. I said I like to set a few goals every year, so here's mine. First of all, I wanted to do 12 cosplays, which is a goal that I've set for a few years now. That's not anything new. Um, the idea is one per month. Um, some months I don't do anything, some months I do a couple, so it all kind of ends up evening out. So I wanted to do 12 cosplays in a month, and I don't know if I made it this year. So we're going to have to go through and count and find out. Um, number two, I wanted to complete projects before starting new ones. Did not follow through with that. Um, I, in 2019, I made a rule not to buy fabric unless I had a project for it, and I'm very proud that I stuck to that rule, and I did that again this year. However, <laughs> this is probably what I'm going to say here, I now currently have fabric for about 10 projects. Not all of them are cosplay related, but I certainly have enough to keep me busy, so I need to focus on that, uh, which is true. And then I panic bought fabric in March. And then three, I said the cosplay references in the above photo, as well as a few that I don't have references for. So the cosplays that I had in my reference photo was Tinkerbell, Power Girl, Moana, Elsa in her Snow Queen dress. And I know a lot of people call it like her spirit dress, her fifth element dress. I'm telling you, Disney calls it her, that was my computer, Disney calls it her Snow Queen dress. So I'm going to call it her Snow Queen dress. Um, Anna in her travel outfit from Frozen 2, designer Rapunzel, Bombshell Supergirl, and Rosetta. And then as well as a few that I didn't have references for, which is Flapper Aurora, another Disney mermaid. At the time I wasn't sure which Disney mermaid, but I was thinking Elsa or Belle. More on that later. And I'd like to do a cool winter fairy with crazy makeup and stuff. I don't know. Every year I say I want to do more with makeup and every year I basically don't, which is still pretty true um I didn't do a winter look I want to I have some plans to I bought some like white eyelashes so that I could like have like white eyelashes and do like white eyeliner and stuff and make it look all frosty um I bought those months ago and they still haven't arrived and so I don't think that they're going to so I could do some other things but it also hasn't snowed yet um this winter I guess it did in like January February um but so far it's the end of December, Christmas is coming on, and we still haven't had any snow here. So maybe I'll do that in January. But anyways, now that we've gone over what I wanted to do in 2020, let's talk about what actually happened. And I'm going to move you guys over so that now I can put pretty pictures right here. Fancy. So January and February, I spent creating my Snow Queen Elsa and my designer Rapunzel, both of which were on my list of things to do in 2020, but I mean, it was the beginning of the year, so we started off great. <laughs> I did get to wear these two C2E2, um, so that's where these pictures were taken. I was really, really proud of these. The designer Rapunzel has been like my dream cosplay since like the very first time I started cosplaying before I even had my first costume this was like this is my dream costume this is what I want to learn how to make this is what I want to do and this was the year that I finally did it I think it was beautiful um most people at the convention thought that I was Barbie which 
is normally a compliment except I had like a four foot long wig on so like figure it out people but <laughs> Um, but it was really really beautiful. It was really, really fun. I got to do a group shoot. This, is, um, this was based on the 2010 Disney Store designer princess line. This was like the OG designer line. If you know anything about Disney doll collecting, this was the line that broke that. This was... <laughs> ah, have you ever had such an outburst that Disney had to change their plans because of the public? <laughs> it doesn't happen often. It happens with these dolls. Anyways, so Rapunzel was the doll that I got back in 2010. My big brother drove me to the mall at 4 o'clock in the morning to get in line because I couldn't drive yet. I really wanted Snow White, but I didn't get her. That was the day that everything broke. <laughs> um, but I do have her now. Anyways, now we're getting way off track. I also did my Snow Queen Elsa, which I was also super proud of. Um, nobody knew about this, or at least the general public did not know about this dress. Um, until the movie came out. Um, they hid all the merchandise, they didn't share it, they didn't have it in the trailers, they didn't have it in the merchandise, so it was like a secret dress um, until the day that the movie came out. And so trying to figure out the patterning, figure out what I wanted to do, I found out about it at the end of November, so I had December and January pretty much to figure out what I was going to do, order supplies, and then February to actually make the dress. So I'm really really happy with how it turned out. There are a couple things that maybe I would do differently, but overall I really love how it turned out. I had to self-draft patterns for this. Um, I took forever sourcing some fabrics. The freaking diamonds that are all over her cape and stuff um, were hard to find. I hand dip dyed the cape and the little like gores at the bottom of her skirt. So this was a very intense costume and it was maybe a little more than I probably should have handled at the time, but I pulled it off and I really really liked it. So, and then about a week after C2E2, I went to Disney, which this isn't totally costuming, but it's kind of along the same lines. I Disney bounded and I hand dyed this little Padme Disney bound and that made me really really happy. I didn't make the ears, I got the ears on Etsy and I had them custom made. Um, they had the little BB-8 design but they obviously had it in orange because he's orange and I asked them to make it in pink so that it would match my Padme dress better and they did and it's really really cute. I don't know the store off the top of my head who did the ears but I will look it up and I will link them down below because they were super super great highly recommend all right in April somewhere in there um, is where I did my Queen Anna I didn't get really nice pictures until a couple months later um, but I think April is when the dress came in the way came in all of that um, if you want to hear more about that, I do have a video on my channel doing a review of the dress because I ordered it um, and going over some alterations that I did to make it just a little bit better. Probably one of my favorite costumes this year. It's ridiculous to wear. It's hot. It's uncomfortable. There's a big, huge, long, obnoxious cape, but it is gorgeous. So anyways, these photos that you're seeing were taken a few months later, not in April, but there you go. In May, I actually did my very first YouTube video. My very first video was on my Aurora flapper dress that I made. It's a really terrible video, uh, but if you want to go watch it, I'll link it down below. Um, I kind of want to remake it. It was a really easy project. It was really cute, but it was filmed on a different camera that ended up getting returned to Amazon because it just wasn't for... It was not for YouTube videos, vlogs, things. No. Um, but anyways, so I did my flapper Aurora, which has not left my house, I don't think. I haven't even done like a proper photo shoot in it. All these these photos that you're seeing, um, I just did at home by myself. I'm thinking she's coming to C2E2 2021, <laughs> if that happens. Um, in June, I made my Rosetta costume. There's a whole video on that. I think by then I had a better camera, so you should watch that one. And then I also, I don't know when my tail for Ariel came in, but June is when I got photos of it. Um, the top I made, but I made that like last year, but I got the tail. The tail is from AliExpress. It's not the greatest tail I've ever bought. Um, it's not my favorite tail that I have. I think I want to do a review video on some different tails that I have um, sometime next year, maybe after I've had a chance to swim in all of them. Um, but at the time I couldn't find a green tail that had a little bit more of an elaborate kind of prettier fen. I mean fen fun had a green one but at the time I already had a couple fen funs and I wanted to like mix things up get a different kind of tail shape 
um, and I just couldn't find any other available. Of course, immediately after I got this in the mail, Mer Taylor came out with a green tail. So probably gonna buy that Mer Taylor one someday. <laughs> but it looks really pretty for the pictures so I'm not that mad about it. At the end of June I took pictures in my little Wreck-It Ralph Snow White costume which full disclosure I already owned. I have owned for like two years but I never took pictures in it or wore it anywhere or really did anything with it. Um, I've worn just the t-shirt because it is just a normal t-shirt so I've worn just the t-shirt in my normal life. It's cute. The shirt's from an Etsy shop. I can link it down below. Um, I think it's it's like once upon a dream images or something like that i don't know but they did my snow white one and then anyway they did my elsa one too that i wore a year or two ago so i'm going to kind of count it as a new cosplay because i've never counted it before even though i technically owned it i don't count them until i do something with them and i count it <laughs> July was pretty low key. I did see on my Instagram that I had posted pictures of this flapper belt that I threw together. I literally threw it together. I owned everything already. Um, the gold dress is from Amazon. I got it several years ago. Um, and then the wig is just my normal bell wig and then some flapper jewelry that I just have. I threw this together. Somebody was putting together a little like 1920s princesses pass the brush thing when everyone was doing all those pass the brush videos. But then that video never actually happened. I know that this had to have been done before I did my flapper aurora though because I remember my flapper aurora wasn't done yet. Um, otherwise I would have just worn my flapper aurora for it. And what else did I do in July? Oh in July my mermaid pod the Missouri Mermaids uh, we had our second annual Disney mermaid shoot and I did Snow Queen Elsa for that. Uh, so here's a, a beautiful picture of that. Um, and then here's a cute selfie of me and Miss Anna as well. <laughs> this was in my top nine for Instagram this year. This is like my second most liked Instagram picture. I guess you guys like mermaids. So that was a lot of fun. I think that was my first time getting back with the pod um, all year. And then in August, I got back together again with Sarah for our second shoot of the year. And I did my bloody aerial photo shoot, which was a lot of fun. Um, I was a little nervous because we were in a public park and I was like, oh my God, I can't let any small children see Ariel all hooked and bloody. <laughs> but we found an area that wasn't too busy. So no small children's idea of Ariel was destroyed this day. Um, also no costuming was destroyed this day. I was pretty sure that everything would get ruined. So I wore my old aerial wig and I threw together a really quick top just with a dollar store shells. I spray painted a purple and then glued a bunch of pearls all over it. This Mayron uh, makeup stuff came right out of everything. So the wig is fine, the top was fine, everything turned out fine. So if you're in the market for some stage blood, Mayron stage blood, 10 out of 10, do recommend. So in September, my Koi mermaid tail from Mer Taylor arrived. So it was my first Mer Taylor tail. Very exciting. It was for my like original character mermaid. So it was like a big deal for me. If you want to see the unboxing of that <laughs> video linked down below. And I ended up using that tail for a couple different photo shoots over uh, the next couple months after that. So here is some photos just with my like Mersana. I made the top. There's also a video on that. I got this orange and white wig from AliExpress that was like made to go with this tail. So like yay. Um, and then in October I used it for a little bit of a witchy mermaid too. I also did my witchy Anna and once again yep video link down below and I did this like little witchy Padme which I'm really not going to count as costume because first of all um, this photo was edited by Sincerely Krista over on Instagram. Um, she was the one who arranged this like witchy Star Wars kind of virtual collaboration um, and she actually edited this dress to look different than it does in real life. I had a little bit of a problem with my dye situation um, and it does not look like this in real life but it's really cute for the picture and yeah it was basically like a Halloween version of what I wore to uh, Disney basically <laughs> but that was really fun to do too. October is also when I finally got pictures of Power Girl which like my Rick at Ralph Snow White is one that I technically already owned but I never had any pictures of it I've never worn it to a convention or anything 
Um, so it was really cool to finally get pictures of it. So we were in downtown St. Louis for these pictures. So we got some really cool background action going on with like the arch and things like that. Um, so that was really exciting and it was nice to finally put this costume to use. Hi friends, it's a voiceover Alyssa really quick, inserting myself to say I completely forgot to talk about how I did Travel Anna from Frozen 2. So here are some pictures of that. This was one that I got uh, really early this year. I did some birthday parties in it before everything closed down and I finally got around to getting photos in it this fall. And finally we make it to December and I... Did it. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it in by the end of the year, but I just went and got my photos done today. So if my makeup looks similar and I just look a little less platinum blonde, that's why. I just drove home from St. Louis and decided to do this video while I had my makeup on and looked all cute. So here is at least one picture from that photo shoot. There might be some behind the scene photos. I don't know how many photos I'm going to have by the time I get this edited, but I did my holiday Barbie based on the 1994 holiday Barbie doll. Um, I have all of the holiday Barbie ornaments that go on my Christmas tree every year and they mean a lot to me. They're all from my grandmother, so they mean a lot to me. Um, and I decided this year to make a holiday Barbie gown. And that's what I did. I picked 1994 because that is the year that I was born. Um, and I'm really proud of it. I didn't quite finish all the little details. So I'm hoping to take this to CTVT 2021 um, because it's supposed to be in December. So like Christmas time, so like holiday Barbie. This costume was a lot and I'm really proud of myself and I almost didn't finish it this year, but I'm glad that I did. I'm really, really happy with it. It was a good, good way to end my 2020 costuming adventures. So we have been doing a costume count up here and I made it to 12. I didn't think that I would, honestly. Um, a lot of this was because a lot of it was started or done in the early part of the year. Um, and then some of it was just me trying to do something creative to fill my time. Usually I do parties every weekend and that was not at all the case this year. Um, we closed for pretty much all of spring and summer um, and then we opened up again in October but I've only done a handful of parties. Um, not a lot of people are booking right now so that's just how that's going. So it was nice to be able to use costuming and creating things um, as a way this year to keep that creativity going, have something to do with myself on the weekends. <laughs> Um, and I look forward to an exciting 2021 with or without conventions or birthday parties or whatever else um, that got canceled for the majority of this year. So yeah, that was my 2020 costuming journey. Be sure to comment down below which one was your favorite. Um, I love a lot of them. But right now I'm mostly proud of Holiday Barbie because I just did it. <laughs> But earlier this year, I was really excited about Rapunzel because she was my dream costume and I finally made her. Um, and also Elsa because that was a lot of work. That was probably more work than anything else. I don't know. Barbie was really long. I just did Barbie though. I didn't make all of the costumes that I originally wanted to, but I did do a lot of them. Every year I have an idea of what costumes I want to do and I record it on Instagram. Um, and every year um, I do some of them. I don't do some of them. I do others that I didn't even mention. But this year I did most of them. I'm actually kind of surprised. I of course went over the ones that I did do. So I did, I posted about one, two, three, four, eight. So I posted about 10 plus that makeup look that I said I wanted to do that I talked about earlier. And out of those 10, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And the eighth I did some progress on, I didn't finish it. Um, so I did Power Girl, Snow Queen Elsa, Travel Anna, Designer Rapunzel, Rosetta, Disney Mermaid, and Flapper Aurora. I did all of those. I didn't do Tinkerbell. I have been working on her. If you want to hear more about that, be sure to click subscribe down below because I am coming out with a video with all of my plans for 2021 and I will go over the Tinkerbell situation in that video. I did not do my Bombshell Supergirl. Um, I have the pattern for her. I haven't bought the fabrics. I haven't started anything. Um, and the reason for that is primarily because there's no conventions to go to. 
Um, that's not a costume that I'm going to use for my business. That's a costume that I'd really like to debut at Comic-Con where I'd be around people who recognize it and appreciate it. Um, and I don't know how many conventions we're going to have next year, if I'm being honest. I know that I said I'm kind of holding out for C2E2 2021 because it's in December at the very end of the year. Um, but a lot of the conventions that I normally go to happen in the spring and summer. And I don't know what's going to go on in terms of like really large events this spring and summer. So I'm not really setting my heart on it. So maybe I'll do her in 2022 because I do love the design of her costume and I would really love to do her. Um, and then I completely forgot that I was thinking about doing Moana. I think that's because I made a Moana costume in 2019. I made it for the performer for my company. So if it's her, it doesn't fit me. Um, but it was actually really easy to do. And so I was like, I want to make one for me. And then I never did. I mean, I'm obviously very white. I can't portray the real Moana for my company. So that's just not really a priority. Um, that's something that I would probably just wear to Comic Con or just do a photo shoot in. So that's shelved maybe for forever. I don't know if I'll ever get around to her, but I did pretty good. I made it to 12. I did a lot that I set out to do despite, um, a lot of things shutting down this year. So I'm really happy with what I did. And like I said earlier in the video, if you want to hear about my plans for 2021, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, uh, because my next video is going to be on what I'm going to do in 2021. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Bye.